are there any is there anything out there right now that is just out of reach that um, that you would like to be using? So, uh, Sarah, did you want to uh, tackle that one? Sure. Um, I mean, there's really not, to be honest, uh, not a lot of um, programs that out there uh, that are helping us to tap into new Canadians that are coming in into the country. I mean, it used to be a few, uh, thinking probably 15 years ago. Um, new Canadians had an opportunity to be introduced to a, a, a certain number of courses and PSW was one of them, right? So um, when they first arrived in Canada and they were looking for skills training, that was available to them um, at no cost. And so um, we really were able to tap into a large number of uh, PSWs at that time. Now that program is no longer being supported, my understanding is through Immigration Canada, uh, but it would certainly be nice to, uh, to be able to have more opportunities like that because a lot of people coming to Canada, as we know, they, they want to work, right? Um, and they just, they need the skills, they need the experience, and we're, we're certainly very happy to hire them in, uh, in long-term care. We've had, we had wonderful success. Most of the people that we hired 15 years ago are still working with us today in full-time positions, and they'll be likely with us until they retire. Fabulous. Well, that's good to hear. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, thank you. Uh, Elena? I would just echo those statements like um, a lot of our employees are long-standing employees I've had 30-year employees here and uh, you know it would be it would be great to have those kind of um, programs and opportunities I sat on the program advisory committee in the Perth Algonquin College campus and uh, unfortunately there wasn't enough enrollment for the PSW program so it's just it's it's having that uptake for the programs and the interests and you know, getting people in, interested in the program would just be hugely helpful, but people see the cost of the program and, and the fact of the matter is the time and, and people don't have that time or money or resources or that they just, they want something quick and dirty. And uh, it's just, it's not a reality for a lot of people, unfortunately. Um, so just kind of jumping into where I think you guys are, are at, I would comment on the, on the younger ones coming in. There's a couple of things that, that I've had feedback on. And one is definitely the lack of enrollment, particularly in the PSW program. Um, and part of that I'm hearing is that people are realizing how tough it is. So especially in long-term care, they're finding out how heavy it is, how tough it is. Um, to work in long-term care. So even the small classes that I've um, had, we do host one of the colleges here for their placements. Generally, I find by the end of it, it's very, very few of them that are interested in staying long-term care and they're all looking at going out into community or to other places that now look for PSWs. So to me, that's, a, that's definitely one of the big challenges that we have in the long-term care sector. Uh, for sure. 